Hello everyone, my name is Namrata and today I am going to tell you about Simulink. So Simulink is a MATLAB product and it is used for model based design. So to get started with uh, Simulink, open the Simulink library browser by typing Simulink, Simulink in the command window or you can go for the option that there is a Simulink library tab in the MATLAB. So just by clicking the Simulink library uh, tab, uh, you you go to the Simulink library browser. So here you can see there are a lot of different blocks, different libraries. Uh, so there is this commonly used blocks library. Here you can see bus creator, bus selector, constant. Then in continuous library, you can see integrator and derivative. Then there is also math operations library. You can add, subtract. Then there is the uh, gain block. Then here, uh, here is a sync library. So here are different displays and scopes. You can see. So let's get started with our Simulink model. So here you can see on the left left hand side. Uh, there is uh, there is a tab say it says new model so click on the new model tab so there is this window here you can create your model so let's start let's get started with our model so we are going to need different props uh, so how uh, the first question is how to add these blocks to your uh, model file so just right click on the block which is required and say add to the file so here you can see it's added to your file then we are going to need constant block Let's say it's added. Then we are going to need one display block. So the second question is how to connect this blocks so there are actually different uh, ways you can connect this block just align here you can see uh, there is a blue line that is a connecting arrow you can choose uh, this line and and connect uh, these two blocks or just left click on the block hold the control and select the another block to which you want to connect your previous block so left click hold control and it's connected again left click hold control and again left click so these are connected so we are done with our model so let's give different parameters Oops, sorry uh, let's say we will give we will keep constant as one then gain value as let's say nine and let's see what is the output so here you can see that the output is 9 it's displayed further if you don't want to give your uh, attributes or the signal values from here let's say if I give it name let's say K it's okay now I'll go to command window and give the value of K as 2 here okay then go to your model your model 
and run the model so here you can see the output is now 18 since we had taken the value of k as 2 so this is how the simulink works uh, then there is also a simulink model configuration parameter so by clicking on model configuration parameters you set uh, different um, values or uh, you uh, you can uh, import or export input data say input from here you can set your uh, you can uh, import or export data then here you can uh, give start and stop time then there is a solver option here say variable step then fixed step solver actually variable step is a, a solver where uh, it go back to uh, previous uh, time steps and uh, give uh, gives you the accurate uh, output and fixed step it's a actually a real time solver so we will see how it is used in further tutorials so thank you thank you for watching if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and thanks a lot for watching